Hi, I'm Austin with Whitecap Institute. Thank you for purchasing the Bison Laser. Uh, today I just wanted to show you a quick tutorial of how to set it up. Okay, here's the Bison Laser arm. Uh, first thing you're going to do is take it out of the box. There's a sticker on the bottom of this. Just remove that and put it gently down in there until you hear it snap. And then tighten, just with your fingers, just tighten the screw. You may have to move the arm a little bit to get it all the way tight. But once it stops, just check and make sure that it moves freely and then attach the air hose, just like that. Okay, next, uh, this is the power cord. So this is gonna plug in right here and make sure that this gray switch is on. Next thing you're gonna do is plug in this interlock, kind of rotate that until it clicks in and then tighten the interlock screw just with your fingers. Then the next thing is the foot pedal. It's all labeled. That one's pretty easy. Just click that in, you're ready to go. Okay, you just plug the power converter into the Bison Laser. That other end has a 220 plug. It needs to be plugged into this power converter. This will convert it from 220 into 110. So plug this end into the wall and make sure that the switch is on and you're ready to go. Okay, now you're ready to turn the laser on. Go ahead and insert the key and you're gonna wait for it to warm up. This may take 30 seconds. Once you turn the laser on, it will come to this screen. You'll have the option to choose between the different modes. The first mode is continuous mode. This is a, a continual beam that's emitted. There's no pulse waves. The second is super pulse, and then the third is ultra pulse. The difference between these two pulses are, uh, this one will go to 20 microseconds and 50 microseconds on the repeat time. There's an option on this screen to save a preset. You have nine different presets. If you touch on any one of these numbers, you can adjust your presets here and there, and then just hit save. If you hit this icon, it will show you 14 preset indications. You choose one of these, lingual phrenectomy, you can read about it, it shows a pulse width that it will, it will start on. If you hit next, it will preset it for you, and then you can hit standby, and you're ready to go. At the top of the home screen, you can adjust your aiming beam, you can turn your sound on or off, and your beeps when the laser's emitting. And you can also turn your air off. Uh, this sound is, if you turn it off, it doesn't make the sound when you're adjusting the power width or the repeat time. This sound, when, when the laser's on and your foot's on the foot pedal, it won't make a sound. All right, it's time to check the laser. Make sure that it's emitting a, an aiming beam and that it's cutting properly. There's a protective eyewear that it comes with in the black box. Uh, you can wear any protective goggle, your loops, or prescription glasses, any of those work. Um, everybody that's within five feet from the laser needs to have protective eyewear. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to this screen. We like to test it on super pulse. Go to 20 on the, the power width and 50 on the repeat time. Uh, go ahead and hit standby. It's going to beep a couple of times. Once it's solid and it's ready, take the handpiece, make sure it's, it moves freely, and then check and make sure there's an aiming beam on there. But don't put your foot on the foot pedal while it's uh, aiming at your hand. Next thing you're going to do, we, we like to use uh, tissue paper or uh, like a paper towel and get it really damp. It seems to work the best. You're going to want to be at about a 12 to 14 millimeter focal point and just cut really slow that first time. Just cut nice and slow and cut in a straight line. And just check it. Make sure it's cutting 
about four millimeters into the paper towel. Okay, I wanted to explain really quick on how to uh, properly maintain your handpiece. Really the only thing you're going to need is a screwdriver. We like to keep ours somewhere near the operatory. Um, you're going to take the, the back of this screw off uh, quite a bit. So almost every procedure uh, at the end of the day, you're going to take this screw out and clean it. So what you're going to do is just, there's a gold mirror attached to the end of this screw. Just loosen it with a screwdriver, take it out with your fingers, and wipe this off with alcohol wipes or cavity wipes. And then that keeps that clean. The reason, the reason you need to keep this clean all the time is so that there's seven different mirrors that that laser bounces off in this arm. This is the last one. And when you're doing procedures, sometimes gunk can get up through this, through the tips, or if you're not using a tip, it can get up through this hole and it dirties up this mirror and then you start losing your aiming beam and you start losing power. One last thing, there's a cool feature on this handpiece. Uh, there's a focus and a defocus mode. So just like a flashlight where you want to widen the footprint of it, you just turn it to defocus and you can use that to widen the, the laser beam for sterilization or you don't want to have the focal point cut so deep. Um, this, is a, this is a great feature for that. Now that your laser's set up, you guys are good to go. Um, this, this laser's been awesome. I know it's going to be a huge benefit to your practice. Uh, let us know if you guys need anything else. Thanks for watching.